Hi everybody, I'm Dominic Fricard and this is Games on a Budget. Today, I'll be looking at the roguelike spaceship strategy game that is FTL, Faster Than Light. FTL has amazing replayability. Every time you make that jump to another star, there's no way of telling what you will encounter. This randomized format can have you come across friendly Federation outposts that give you resources, automated rebel drones that attack your ship, or an opportunity to recruit someone or something new to aid you on your journeys. Any one of these encounters can turn disastrous for you and your crew, and if your hull integrity reaches zero, your ship is scrap and your adventure is over. Instead of taking control of a fast-flying starship or manually repairing damage, FTL will put you in the seat of command. You'll have to guide your crew to where they need to be, choose how you want to handle hostile situations, and make some morally ambiguous decisions as you travel through the stars. The game plays out in real time, but you're able to pause it and give commands and assess your situation. Combat will have you scrambling to keep all systems working while simultaneously attacking the enemy. FTL is a game of tactics, not a game of fast-paced skill. In combat, you'll have to choose where you want to attack the enemy. Is disabling their weapon a priority, or should you aim at their transporter beam so they can't board your ship and start smashing it up? Maybe even take out their engines so they can't escape once you get the upper hand. You'll have to keep track of your power usage as well. You could dump everything you have into weapons and shields, but by keeping some power in the engines, you could get the charge you need to jump to safety, if anything goes wrong. In FTL, your goal is to deliver urgent data to the Federation. As you jump from star to star, there will be text-based encounters that you have to deal with. Depending on how you handle these well-written bits of story, they can either help or hinder you. All the while, you must keep track of the rebel fleet that is constantly on your heels. If they catch up to you, things really won't go well, so it's important to make that jump to the next sector before that happens. If you actually manage to get to the final boss, which doesn't happen often, you'll complete the game and be rewarded with new ships to use when you decide to take on the quest again. FTL was developed by Subset Games and can be found on Steam for only $9.99. Know of any good cheap games? Like what I had for you today? Be sure to tweet at ZTVGoofingOff using the hashtag GOAB. Until next time, I'm Dominic Freimelegs, keeping your wallets full with games on a budget.